the, for the family and I just say I'm happy to be here, you know. I, I forward, I forward on this time because, you know, we're preparing for a musical mission. And it's just a joy. You know, I always have my answer, you know. I always carry it around. <laughs> you know, I was in England first week and it was the first time I forget it going on the plane. You know, when I reach the Honorable Priest, I called the Honorable Priest, you know, I was like, you know, what to do, you know. I was hoping to hear some alternative that I could, you know, something I could use instead. And, you know, I was blessed that an uh, honorable, uh, honorable living in, in UK drove from South London to West London to bring me a bottle of the answer, you know, because them things, you know, when you go running at the, in at the England park, the money are going at the plane and all them things, yeah, you have to make sure you say everything balanced, you know. <laughs> So we do give thanks for everyone who is here, you know, and for our opportunity to stand with my brethren them, you know, and my elders them. And I wish because here what to, you know, a lot of we see in the world we see a lot of um, anxiety coming as far as health. You know, people uncertain about what to do and what to take and how to take it and how to flex, how to dress. You know, people genuinely would love to know, you know, so you know, we'll give thanks to the ones who, who can present us with some a level of answer that we can actually apply in how we live and you know, with no hocus pocus and pain and monthly and none of that. It's just this is how you could live and the information is, is there and for the practice of it is something where you have to take time for yourself to practice and rehearse, you know, and, and, and implement that lifestyle, you know, because that is very difficult to do on the go, you know, um, how to how to bring yourself into a balance, you know, a, a, some state of equilibrium. So, we give thanks to the honorable priest and the answer, you know, and we give thanks because that moment of thanksgiving you know this has been in planning for what, a year a year you know and this is this one stepping stone in many different things to forward you know um many different aspects of the works you know because this is just us getting the people in balance preparing us for another leg of the work because we can't go out there and you know you worry if your foot has got hurt up or you know if you know your belly and your back and you know what i mean we, we have to prepare ourselves for, for 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 even tougher times to come you know what i mean and we cannot be afraid you know we cannot be afraid especially just because we don't know what to do you know so we give thanks for the answer you know and all the love Yes, indeed, we give thanks for the answer. And of course, absolutely, we give thanks for the Honorable Priest, Kyle Ash Leons. And we give thanks for all of you who are here today who are receiving this information as well. We give thanks. So, is it a joy when you can have a mentor, you know, who can guide you in a particular way, or, or a guru, some call it, and guide you in a particular way as to how you can grow and journey, you know, on your trot? So, it's always a good vibe when this can be done. So at this time I want to also acknowledge once again Dr. Kadamawe uh, Knife. I want to acknowledge uh, Muti Baruko and also um, did he leave? Dr. Well, Miguel Lorne. Okay, there was Miguel Lorne. You want to acknowledge our brother Miguel Lorne as well. Greetings, my brother. Blessings. And of course, all of you who are here. So at this time we go right into a um, round table discussion. And I want to acknowledge, you know, the team members because it just didn't happen like this. There are many people who came together to make it happen, which includes uh, Carice, who is a part of the Promotions and Publicity campaign for an event like this. And also the young lady who I'm going to introduce now, uh, Colleen Douglas, who is also a part of the team to make this happen. Colleen Douglas, of course, uh, marketing director. I'm, she wears so many hats. but specifically at the Edna Mandy School of Vision and Performing Arts. We say thank you so much. I affectionately call her Kali for more reasons than one, but please help me to welcome Sister Kali Douglas. Good 
Give thanks, sister, sister Isis. Um, I want to bless up the media who has it turned up. Glena, give thanks. DJ Sparks, may I say DJ Sparks, come and know you there as DJ Sparks, but from Zip. Blessed love for all of the love that you've given and carrying good news. Jamaican media love to give bad news sometimes. We know it is. I'm a part of that community. And <laughs> the two people who play Connix's music first, they are in this room on the radio. Big up to them. They know they said? What we can tell you? Um, Uta Baruka and DJ Sparks. I appreciate that you do express your gratitude publicly. Um, Prophet Jamar, give thanks. Um, Ras Dr. Wayne. Ras Dr. Ras Wayne. <laughs> the hype master. You know when 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 the DJ go up and you have somebody who 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 go up there to cheer them on? Yeah. So you've listened. We appreciate that you're here. I have to apologize beforehand. Keep the mic away, like not like you're eating ice cream. We're gonna do this, but we will share the mic for those who have questions. Um can we check to see if Brother Riza is on the you know, they say beside every successful man is a goddess. And I have to say publicly that Priest Kailash has the best goddess in the world. Um, <laughs> and I, I was hoping she would come on, on, on the screen so if we can bring up the Zoom so we can bless her up. So that Jamaica, why not one I would mean with clapping here? Why not? because I can not see you with it, but I can read without it. Um, and, and while we wait to bring to bring up the Zoom and see if we still have Brother Risa, there is one thing, and I know you must have noticed, um, Brother Risa mentioned the importance of coming together as black people. Um, Prophet Jamar just brought in the unity. And Priest Kayla, I want to start with you. I really am very conscious of shared my but we take the answer. So we're good. We're good. So I'm observing all of the protocols that the pandemic tells us we observe. But I took my two doses since morning, so I'm safe. Um, <laughs> to just talk a little bit more about the video we shared, the rising of the gods. In Jamaica, we, 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 we tend to say we leave the men behind when we have programs. And a lot of women will say that the men are not stepping up. <coughs> Tell us about the rising of the gods and what that could do for our Jamaican men who want to participate. Um, now, I know seven officer men, the, uh, the, the chancellor thing and them thing, but you know, <laughs> the brethren them. Yes, well, give thanks. I mean, um, Honorable um, um, Professor Kadama and I was one of the first people that I invited the rising of the gods. You know, because um, he came to my home in 2013, you know, and he came to do a, a lecture in St. Lucia, you know, and he actually lived with the family. And um, my children, you know, he had some high reason with my eldest son, you know, and he introduced me as a, as a, as a Bobo Shanti, you know, I always used to go in Chalice. I, I used to just smile steam pipe, and you understand? Know, but I said, the steam pipe never had enough smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so Professor Knife is a man that introduced me full-heartedly, deep reasoning, man. The Dogans, and you know, he's going to book and show me the picture of the Dogans for steam pipe, and I, you know. And as a science man, you know, I'm scientific. I listen to people, you know. When Dr. Rose came, came to, the, to Mon Kailash, he came for healing purposes, and while reasoning, I asked him whether he would have been my advisor because of, 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 the, of the caliber of man. You know, so as youths, you know, I am only a product of my elders. You know, I am not just pre-scalash out of nothing, you know. It is the combination and the influx of the knowledge I've received from all those people who are, who are directly invested in my life. So the rising of the gods was an opportunity to actually bring forward people 
that I thought that could have helped younger men to realize the level of, of godliness that they have in themselves and to be able to live up to that fundamental responsibility of taking care of their family. And one of the key things that, that I would always say is that I don't think anyone can pay my empress eight hours a day. You know, to leave home and for eight hours a day. So as a man, I always found it you know, critical to be able to establish business that my empress could actually run from home. So it's not like she's home, she's running business. You know, I'm talking about multiple businesses. You know, so we have restaurants, we have we have the, 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 the rejuvenation center, you know, plus we have um, um, the factory producing medicine and exports and all different types of things and it's the woman. You know, and we found it pivotal that that the, the man overstood the, the, the role of the woman in their lives. And to understand that sometimes that especially when, especially when you have a good woman, right? A man will say, well boy, the woman is nagging, 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 but the nagging of the woman is what keeps you on that path of right. You know, so, I'm serious. Right, so, especially when you know that your, 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 your empress loves you. So my empress is a priest, you know, I'm only talking to you because I love the you know. Right, so, remember that, that, you know, because as a man, you, you're so defensive. I always say ego, you know, because I, 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 I embrace ego. Ego in Latin just means I. You know, so I say, if they say, well, that priest just like his ego, I say, well, I ego, ego, I and I. You know, because the I, your physical self, that, that you have to be able to be submissive and listen to your woman to actually guide you and give you direction in your life. Because my father never told me anything about relationship. He never said, well, a woman loves to be touched here or touched there or you must whisper in. My father told me nothing of a woman. Right? I had to learn all that by myself. Through trial and error. Right? And there are some men, they 60 and up now, they never learn it. They die and they never learn it. So the rising of the God was an opportunity whereby we would have brought the full spectrum of youth and elders that the knowledge would have been passed on in a nice and beautiful organic way. Give thanks, Grayson, because Christ is right next to me. I'm going to ask you about your foundation and how you think you could use the foundation to advance this conversation. Come here with the man that made the right of passage. How do we use your foundation to sort of advance this conversation? And that's not nag, that's a nudge. <laughs> uh, give thanks. Um, well, uh, uh, we started the, the care in the hands of Rastafari and, you know, it, for me it was really thinking about, you know, usually when I, when, I, when, I, when I do my thing as a youth, you know, I always just keep it as my thing and I never really ever try to call it Rastafari because for me Rastafari is highly Selassie the first and, um, anything bearing that name should carry the, the full representation of his majesty you know his imperial majesty you know so usually if i got the mighty <laughs> but you know but like i felt like with the, the the works that rastafari is expected to do you know and this is expectation coming from i and i first and foremost and then the people in general you know they're not really expecting us to just generate income and all these things but you know um, and in any case if if we have businesses where we're where we're manufacturing products and all of these things as a business structure you know you have to have some level of um avenue for income to be directed into the community tax-free you know so that was the main reason why I set up the care in hands of Rastafari because you know there's a lot of Rastafari work to be done and 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 you know coming even below taking care of the elders and, 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 and making sure that you know food, clothes and roof is accessible to you know our Rastafari elders, you know, below them more top priority things is doing the same in general for the people because um that is what is expected of us as ras you know because if we 
look at Rastafari, you know, for me is his majesty and his majesty at the age of 24 honorable was appointed Ras. Was 24? 24 was appointed Ras. Um, you know, and, 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 and that is a very big responsibility where you're not just um, caring for one person and two persons, but for the general people, you know. So, one of the things we're doing in Core Foundation this year, or previously we did uh, more creative development workshops with youths, and then currently this year we're working on the Jump Coders product program with, with you and Mona, where uh, students are, we have 50 students from across the island who will be doing a, a computer science summer camp uh, with uh, professors from UC Berkeley and Harvard and um, teaching assistants from all over the world. And Jump Coders, first of all, is an offshoot program from Addis Coders which has been happening in, in Addis Ababa for 15 years with Professor Jelani Nelson. And you know, due to the war and all these things in, in Ethiopia, we had to expedite um, our plans to have one in Jamaica. And it was originally set for 2023, but because we had the funding and everything available, we decided to do it a year early in Jamaica. So we give thanks for CORE. And that is some of the ways how I feel like uh, we can bring the youth them forward into into the modern present day problem solving, you know, whether it be problem solving from within or within civilization, you know. So we do give thanks and you know the foundation is is, is also is my personal thing where I set up as well, you know. Um, in terms of you know it is run by us. So, you know, if, if I'm in partnership with Mount Kailash, then it is only natural that core foundation have to be a part of these things because that's what it is there for as a mechanism, you know, to give thanks. Yes, my love. My. I take note too. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm coming around to your brother Akeem. I want you to talk a little bit about your vision for the Afrocentric Wellness School quickly for us. And I just want to say, I know some of us are leaving because of how we get to here. Be safe if you must, but remember that you can connect with the answer. Mount Kailash, SLU.com. So it's Mount Kailash, SLU for St. Lucia.com. There's also info at priestkailash.com if you want to send an email. And it's Honorable Priest Kailash's IG is H-O-N, with short for honor, um, honor on Priest Kailash. H-O-N-P-R-I-E-S-T-K-A-I-L-A-S-H. I just earned my PR fees, sir. <laughs> if thanks. Um, so, um, Brother Akeem, I just want you to tell us a little bit about that program that you're planning. Blessed love, first off. It's, a, it's an honor to be on the stage and to see all the beautiful faces here surrounded around wellness and unity. So that's beautiful, so give thanks for that. And regarding the school, um, so we run the business Rich Soul Foods, which is an extension of Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center. And on my journey, I found that, like I create a lot of content on YouTube, like was mentioned earlier, and I found on my journey, it was, we were just watching from afar someone talk about these herbs, talk about these products, but we were losing the actual connection to them. So first step in that was hosting the retreats, and that's gonna bring people to St. Lucia so they can interact with the herbs themselves, reconnect with Mother Earth, and reconnect with themselves, and um, get a more of an immersive experience. Because just behind the digital screen, it, it's not enough. And we gotta understand, like some people don't realize bananas grow on trees, like really and truly. So, and then they wanna go into talk about health and wellness and go into the science, right? So there's a big disconnect. So it's like a multi-tiered wellness company where we could set, send the products from St. Lucia, send it to your home wherever you are. You could watch us online and learn online. So part of the schooling, it will be online and then part of it will allow for an immersive experience. And 
When I was looking online, I see the traditional Chinese medicine, I see Ayurvedic medicine, but I'm not seeing anything that's coming from Africa or the di diaspora. So we need some representation ourselves, and that takes for all of us to come together to create a curriculum and structure and to allow, to know that wellness is not part of our history. It's not something that we got to go to another culture to, to think it, it's for them. No, this is a part of our history, right? So we want to bring that forward. So with that school is going to be a part of bringing that forward and highlighting the ancestral knowledge that is coming from even uh, Honorable Priest Kailash. Some of that is coming from the ancestors. And this is things you can't find in books. So we want to be able to share that knowledge and keep that lineage alive and also have it in science. So it's not just that, it's, it's backed in science as well. So, good for that. And thanks for coming to you, Dr. Rose. I, well, I see Brother Riza is back on. There are some who I think everything you said resonated well with a lot of ones in this space, but some were late and I just wanted them to hear your voice actually. So I'd, I'd love for you to speak to, you know, so one of the things that the Honorable Priest said in his presentation was the fact that we expect that immediacy. So all this time you are doing what you do and you now get sick and you want immediate. Talk to us a little bit about the patience we need to have for this natural health and the importance of having community behind you as you take this journey. And I'm not sure Brother Riza is actually hearing me. If you're hearing me, give me a nod. Yes, yes, I, I need you to. Yes, thanks. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I want everyone to please give the panel a round of applause and yourselves a round of applause for being here. It's a beautiful, truly powerful. I know it's going to be life changing for a lot of people, so definitely give yourselves a round of applause. Um, I want to mention I know in our generation right now, we were raised. You know, well, I would say the generation right below ours, they're raised on social media. So it's the social media generation. We're used to things instantly happening, instantly moving, but not realizing that everything that is of high value takes time. Um, if you want your food to have the highest value before you cook it, before you buy it, before you find it or see it in a store, it has to be grown. And it takes time to grow food. It takes time to grow vegetables, fruits, etc. So because of that, because of its value and its nutrition and everything that is inside of it, it takes time. So the problem is with us as a people is that we have taken too much time and have invested in so many negative things, but we want to get back into a good condition faster than when we got into a negative condition. So it's going to take time regardless, but we're going to have to increase in our discipline. We have to increase in our exercise, drinking more water, eating more fruits and vegetables. We're, it's, we have to do this. There is no way around it. If we truly care about our overall health, that includes our mental health, that includes our spiritual health, that includes our financial health, health and not just our physical. Everything that we have to do is going to take some time. And I know a lot of people right now, they just want to get it done quickly, but that's just not how it goes. It's a microwave society. People think you could just put your life in a microwave and press a button and everything's going to get better. That's, <laughs> it's not how it's going to go, um, which is why it's always good for us to listen to proper knowledge and wisdom from the right people, which sad to say, that's why the system is doing what it is doing. It's preventing the right information from getting to the people in certain areas, certain areas, but it's still getting through, um, I would say. It is still getting through, but that's the goal for them is to not get, not allow you to get the right information that will help you, that will make you healthier, that will make you smarter and more able to solve your own problems. They don't necessarily want that because if they have intelligent, healthy people, who are able to solve their own problems, then we won't need to rely on medications. We won't need to rely on a government or any type of system because we will have our own well-established, whether it's physical, spiritual, mental, etc. We won't have to rely on it. 
and that's why they have set up the environment in the way that they have. So take that time, as Brother Ross Hakim was saying, take time, not just with how you breathe, but how you actually look at where you want your life to go. You know, and, and again, another thing is we shouldn't compare our lives with any other person's life. You are you, your body is your own, your family is your own, take your time. Brother uh, Prophet Jamar uh, Chronics was saying the same thing. Take your time, find the importance in taking time. I had to take time for a number of things that uh, have been happening. I know my, my mother just made a transition about a month and a half ago. And so I'm still working, but I had to take at least a week, maybe a week and a half off just to process, you know, what happened. And I'm still having to process it. So it's, it's, it's important, you know, for us to be able to move forward. We have to sometimes pause things and reorganize so that we can move forward more effectively and don't rush a good process. Anything that is of high value, anything that we want to be successful to the highest degree has to take time. It just has to. So I think that we exercise a little more patience um, when it comes to us building the things that we need, we'll be able to move forward in a way uh, that will be more successful overall for the long run. Because it's not a, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. This is gonna continue to grow, continue to grow. We're gonna have to pass this down to the further generations. We don't wanna pass down disease and cancer and debt to the next generation. We need to pass down health and wellness, generational wealth, physical wealth, mental and spiritual health and wellness to the future generation so that we don't perpetuate the same cycle that we've been dealing with for at least the last 200 years. So I think that would be a really good thing. Um, the Ubuntu program in particular, we honor the principle of Ubuntu here as well. And I just wanted you to talk to us a little bit about the Ubuntu program that you that has begun there or that you've joined. Um, and I also noticed the emphasis on knowledge through a book club. And I just wanted you to share that and share with us how ones here can join in that conversation. Yes, give thanks, uh, Sister Colleen. And blessed love to all family. Uh, what I'd love to say first is that this is a linear relationship. Yes, the Ubuntu Club, the answer, all of these components came together uh, from a thought and then action. Uh, but before I go very deep, let me just acknowledge my brother, Dr. Michael Barnett, my other brother, Miguel Lord, who I want to talk to you before you leave, just to make sure. That. And it ties in to you, it ties in very tightly because what we did, after you heard about the retreat, at the end of the retreat, June 24th specifically, a day, we gathered at the end of the retreat to say, what happens next? We just can't let this go like that. And you know, it was a brother, a dirty bookman, some of us know it very well. He was there to help to document information. And you know, so right out of that, we said, well, we should have at least a celebration of sorts that acknowledges what we do and pass it forward to the brothers who need it, the mothers who need it for their sons, the sisters who need it for their brothers. And in that moment was another moment of clarity where we recognized that Emperor Haile Selassie I celebrates a Rastafari man on July 23rd of this year, it would be 13 decades or 130 years since his birth. And on June 24th, if you can do the math, on June 24th, as we sat there, it was exactly 13 months before his birthday. And it was, it just dawned on us, a moment of clarity, if you will. And we said, we must bring ourselves together. Justice and healing, judgment and heaping. Heaping of fire codes, if you ask. So it's Jaja and N-I, or is it 
justice and healing, judgment and healing, Naya being the initiative. And we call, we send out multiple letters right there. We, we decide we go set up a secretariat and we say we're serious. It's not a secretariat of word. We're going to set up a building, we're going to get people to work. Our beloved preschooler said, so who, who, who are going to run it? Remember, I have responsibility, I have family, I have all things, a lot of things happening, but I was there for healing. And part of my therapeutic is to work in the vineyard of goodness. I said, I will do it, I will do it. He said, with you? I said, yes, man. I will commit the time it takes to call the family together and to bring the legal components because we said we're going to have a multi-tier strategy. We're going to hold ourselves first accountable because we have reparations commission doing all different kinds of things, seeking the repairing of the breach. But what we have not addressed is the injustice we have committed and continue to perpetuate against our own selves and our families. Yes, and therefore all the language you hear about the answer and what it pretends for our goodness and our future is a part of that. Where first we look at restoring our own health, being just to ourselves and then my sister I wounded you, if I was wrong, if I treated you bad, forgive me. We start going into the family. If the sister, my brother, we talk about that restorative justice process. And then we say to our post-colonial governments, including that of Jamaica and St. Lucia, and we targeted five countries as representations that we wanted to bring some level of class action against. That's why I want to talk to Brother Miguel again. I know the time is running, you know, but this is how the Justice and Healing Initiative comes about. And we're asking our people to buy into our own redemption. Because if you don't buy into your own redemption, you're on the other side of the Justice and Healing. It's judgment. Love, my family. Give time. Give time to and just to share that on Wednesday, May 25 at 5 o'clock, you can join us at the University of the West Indies, N1, the best faculty on the campus, by the way. Um, Faculty of Humanities. You can come there for the official launch of the Jajana initiative that he just referred to and there will also be a special lecture um, by the Honorable Priest. I see Goddess Itopia online. Welcome, welcome Empress. Someone Bless says, Lord, Goddess. I, I actually just leave it to you to say something to Jamaicans who are here. Give thanks. Well, give thanks to the whole of the uh, Jamaican public um, for accepting us, for accepting the message that we come to bring. And, you know, for even um, just being in, in attendance, listening even to all the, um, the media interviews and the response and everything. You know, it's a, a great um, symbol of the hope and confidence and the, 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 the possibility that there is for the future. Um, I would just like to remind everyone that, you know, we ourselves, what we have is enough, you know, what the, 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 the unique strength and value that we have as a people, our unique talent, it is sufficient. And this um, whole uh, thought that has always been there, like we always have to try to get something that's beyond outside of our culture, or outside of our natural self, it's that same principle that has always um, uh, crippled us as a people, you know, from even um, in 1986 um, with the, the Nigerian tragedy where um, the Nigerian government, they were, they were um, convinced that the value, to devalue the, the Nigerian Naira, which at that time was almost um, equivalent to the Great British Pound, they were convinced that they should devalue that Naira um, every week for about, I think, um, I don't remember the period of time, but it was over a long period of time until now, the Naira the, the is so significantly low in comparison to the Great British form. And it's, it's people that were outside, it's people from Harvard and the people that we would, you know, would been made to believe like they're so intelligent and they know what they're doing. There are people that are not like us. They do not have our best interests in mind. So with Mount Kailash, and even the persons that are here, um, Brother Risa, uh, Prophet Jama, um, Akim, 
Dr. Rasui, yourself, Sister Colleen, Sister Therese, the whole team, all of these people in working together here, we are acknowledging that we have what it takes to provide the solution to our challenges and to be able to be successful in all realms. So just remember that, whoever is listening, who is hearing that, we ourselves, we have what it takes to do what it is that we want to do. And Honorable Marcus Messiah, that we said that, you know, there's no one, we're not less than any other man out there. It's just for us to use our capability, see and, and, and um, value what we have on ourselves. All right, so give thanks again. Give thanks for just being there, for strengthening and, and making this uh, such a beautiful experience. And give thanks. Bless the God. Thank you. Thank you. I've gotten the wrap-up signal from producer Therese Lawrence and I just want to say to Brother Akeem, Honorable Priest Kayla, Ras Dr. Wayne Rose, I got it right this time, Prophet Jamar, Chronics, give thanks, um, Brother Rizzo, online, the energies, and for all of you, I have to confess, I worried that you wouldn't come out for Labor Day, so you were right. Um, so <laughs> I wondered that you would work all morning, you would go to the beach, you would go to a party. Thank you for choosing you. Thank you for making the right decision. For searching for the answer and for finding the answer right here in this place at the Jamaica Pegasus with the answer to you. We give thanks that you're all here. We have some little media things that we want to do, so we're not going. I understand and appreciate that some of you will want to speak to the Honorable Priest. I'm going to say that you can call this number. She will not like me much for this. The number is 876-354-8812. I know it now from my head because we've said it so many times. It is Carice's personal number. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to send her a WhatsApp. And when you call, don't tell her all of your medical problems. She's not the doctor. Just tell her that you want a consultation and she'll organize it. And bear in mind that a lot of you calling at the same time so she may not immediately respond. So let me be kind and give you an alternative number. 876 is the first one, 876. 354-8812. Therese, you can tell me if we have space for tomorrow. Did we get that? 876-354-8812 is the main number. The alternative number if you do not get through is 876-468-5555. That one, the person is very dry and abrupt and will just take the information so you won't have a long conversation. Um, <laughs> so, I see the hands, but I just, there is consultations tomorrow. I'm not sure if we have any space left, but we have one. We may have three spaces left. So, if you want to do the consultation, um, and I'm doing like what they do on social media, we don't give prices on the mic. So you speak to Carice, raise your hand, Carice, give them a wave. And it will be the first come, first serve to meet with priests while he's here in Jamaica, because he consults tomorrow. On Wednesday, we move to the University of the West Indies at five o'clock. The audience is also limited, so if you want to catch it, come early, because you is still observing pandemic protocols. So we have to be mindful of that as well. Um, the Honorable Priest, we will share information with you on the platforms mentioned about how we can do online consultations because I suspect we will wear you out and your St. Lucians are telling us to send you back home. So, and we can make those arrangements because he likes us here and we will come back. So give thanks. Sister Isis, you're a blessing. Thank you for that warm spirit and wonderful voice that you share. Thank you, Carice. 
Thank you to Jonathan who was at the table and Sanjay, big up yourself. We know you spend more time than Pegasus paying you for this evening, but I know that this is important to you as well. So we give thanks. Gareth, thanks for showing up, turning up on time. Um, we can mingle a bit. We apologize that we, 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 we fed you with a lot. Um, but we also wanted to be ensured that what it is that we give you to take in would have been in keeping with the ethos and general principle of what Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center is about. And that was somewhat difficult to bring that into this kind of space. So forgive us for, for, for that, that we were not able to do that. So thank you. Um, the Gleena is here. I'm giving you first privilege of speaking to your people, Stephanie. So let's take it away. Gareth is setting up and we will do some shifting to make it work. Um, please feel free to send questions to the websites mentioned, info at prescalers.com, and if it's something urgent that is to be dealt with for tomorrow, those two numbers I gave you. One perfect love, family. By the way, follow me on social so you can do because I have no followers. CD publicity on IG. I'm just being US dollars per bottle it worth it trust me and it is or 8,500 Jamaican it's worth every dollar um, this little cheap crop is like 17,000 Jamaican go down there and spend on something for your head so you can get it and there are also some packs there are female packs so we can, well, can talk after you have So this is the So this is the So So People I don't know why so much people are troll the pe the Rasta people them way, is me? They do good for it. Because I've been trying to defend the movements uh, chronics here. So the more, the, the people in the comments are ask for I list the last day I face the one same picture. But you know, I understand yeah, that is a good um, question because you know, I just lost the I represent 
you know, we represent for him. So, that is a good question. But I mean, yeah, we can understand, say, uh, and every time that must be in place, you know. And, and I mean, for the last thing I've noticed, the people have been going against chronics and the movements right here is with the whole charging of fear for the healing you know so he's saying healing is free all about money you know this is the problem but you know you can't really well i mean money is needed to build any community you know nothing is really free so it's all about empowering and build yourself self-employed so everyone should gain money should have access to money you know that is rasta thing it's not about being poor and not having any money rasta help the poor that is that is their work as well to help the poor but also to steer them in direction of teaching them how to catch their meals so you don't have to be begging for your meals you get me yeah so i don't know don't try for troll rasta people you see me no trolling thing here so cause that was a jp four five six nation upon out